going on doggies? Welcome back to another video and welcome to a survival challenge. Look, to be honest, straight off the bat, I don't know if it's gonna be hard to survive out here or survive living through these bloody flights for the next couple of days. But we're about to take part in a survival challenge. Not only is this a survival challenge, it's actually more of a survival experiment. So basically, right now we are way out in the middle of the bush. We are in the middle of absolutely nowhere. This is what the rugged outback Western Australia looks like. It is dry, it's desolate. There's nothing out here. It is literally, we are right here, right now, we're in the middle of nowhere. What I wanna do is, I wanna do a little bit of a survival experiment, and it's obviously a survival challenge. We have no food, we've got no water again, and we've got no shelter. We've got a backpack, we've got a handful of camera batteries, we've got a knife. That's basically all we got. All right, so the reason that this is gonna be a survival experiment as well as a survival challenge is I've never seen this done before and it's been something that's been playing on my mind for a bloody long time. So I thought I'll bring you guys along on this journey with me and we'll see if we can actually make this work. So basically, everybody knows you can put a plastic bag over a tree and during the day, during the heat hitting that plastic bag, it'll condensate and you'll be able to form drinking water in the bottom of that bag at the end of the day. Now that's all good, that's all good and well if you're sitting in one spot and you've got the time to wait for that bag to do its thing. But what if you weren't doing that? So right now, what the, what basically what I've done is, I've been dropped off in the bush, the troopy is parked about a seven hour walk dead east through the bush here. So, we're just gonna be hoofing it east and um, we're gonna get back to the troopy. I'm gonna try to push it out for one night. No food, no water, no shelter. Get back to the troopy for about lunchtime tomorrow. And um, the challenge is, Plastic bags, you can put a plastic bag, like I said, over a tree, you can collect water. That's all good and well if you're sitting in one spot, but what if you've got to move? What if you've got to keep moving? There is no creeks here, there is no water out here to drink. So the experiment today is we're gonna fill up this plastic bag full of leaves, we're gonna walk around with this big ass plastic bag for, the, for as far as we can walk this afternoon, we'll build a shelter, we'll start a fire, we'll camp up, we'll walk the rest tomorrow. But the aim of the game is to see if you can fill this up with, just with leaves, tie it off, walk around with this big ass plastic bag and um, see if you can generate water while you're on foot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go try to find the right sort of tree, gather a couple of leaves up, fill up this bag and um, we've got a massive, massive day of walking ahead of us. Here we go. This isn't the one that we just saw but I've just walked past this one, just found this is the tree we're looking for. This is called a white gum. And usually you find a tree like this these usually grow generally close to a creek or sort of close to water. So obviously there's a little creek here in the background. It's gonna be all dried up this time of year, but that's what this fella's doing. And these are the leaves that we actually want. This is exactly what we want. Beautiful. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna pillage as many of these leaves off this tree as we can, fill that bag up and uh, we're gonna start hoofing it. That's a big bag, man. That's massive. I'd like to take a couple of trees to do this. I reckon I'm gonna be here for a while. All right, so I'm not gonna pillage this tree too much. I've just noticed another tree there in the background and there's another one just down the line there. So what we'll do is we'll take a little bit off that tree, a little bit off the next tree until we can fill this bag right up. So we've got about, I don't know, this is a massive bag. Like this thing's gonna be a mission to walk through the bush with. But what's very interesting and kind of exciting is this already. Have a look at that, that's already condensating. That's all, that's, that's future drinking water right there. You can see that, look. That's moisture. So it's already starting to work. We've got about a quarter of a bag there. We've got to go get a couple more leaves, but we'll let this tree live, we'll leave him alone. We'll take a few off that one, a few off that one, and um, we'll try to do the right thing. And then we'll keep, we'll just start punching that way. That is what I'm talking about right there. Have a look at that. 
got to keep your eye out, keep observant when you're out here, and that's what we were. That's that's so bloody nice. That's just a big long length, some old fencing wire. Don't know what it's doing out here because there's no fences around here, but anyway, I'll take that any day of the week. I'll snap a little section of that off and we'll put that in the backpack. That's the most definitely going to come in handy. That's real good. The hydration station. That's what we're gonna call this episode, the hydration station. This thing, it's 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 gonna work. It's gonna work like a bloody treat. Um, couple of issues straight off the bat. There's a few bugs in here. You can see them running around. There's a couple of ants in there also. Um, but you can't really you can't really do anything about that. We'll just have to sieve that water out when we're drinking it. But um, that's it. That's as many leaves as we're gonna get. There's absolutely no way in the world if we were to do this there's no way in the world if you were, if you were to put this over a tree that you'd be able to collect that many leaves off of the one branch so we've pretty much doubled our chances there and um you can see it already completely getting all hot and moist and steamy inside very exciting times so what we're going to do is grab that fencing wire which we found on the floor over there i've got a bit of string in the bag but you might as well just use the wire that we found keep this shit legit it's gonna use this fencing wire to tie it up and um, we're gonna start hoofing it surprisingly it is actually pretty bloody heavy should be able to snap it pretty easy it's pretty old there we go all right we're gonna make this bag airtight we're gonna wrap this fencing wire around here this and lock him off right now we're talking hydration stations have a look at that that is one big bag full of leaves and um, I reckon this is gonna work I reckon we're gonna be able to walk the whole entire day obviously we're not gonna be able to drink water for I don't know the next probably six hours until this thing actually does start producing water, but I've got a pretty good feeling that we're gonna get a good mouthful, two or three mouthfuls out of this bag. I'll show you what's happening. All right, so there's that fencing wire. It's tied up, that's nice and tight. There ain't no air coming in or out of that. So this thing's gonna start working like a big greenhouse. You can see down here, like, have a look at this. It's already just forming some beautiful water there. If you look real close, don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but there are a heap of little bugs running around. Look at this little fella here. There's bugs in there, but that's all right. You can take what you can get when you're out here. So I suppose we can, we can, we can do one more thing. Alrighty, now we are cooking with the hydration station. What I've done is, I've just pulled a little bit of wire up around here, tied that off. So what that there is now, that's just an empty little pocket of the bag and that's actually the bottom corner. So when we flip up the bag like this, what I'm hoping happens is, as we're walking through the bush, all that water's gonna condensate. You can look at this, you can already see it. It's going off its head. That's all gonna condensate. It's gonna get pushed down to this point here, which is quite tight. That should stop a lot of the majority of the sticks, the leaves, the ants, the bugs, sort of like an almost a filter. And then hopefully this thing will fill up with water. So as we're walking, we can just pop a hole, have a drink, and um, we'll just keep charging through the bush. But that's the plan. That is the plan of attack. I suppose all we do now, we just walk that way. And uh, we'll put up with these extremely bloody friendly flies. But this is it. This is us for the whole entire day. 
but basically walking like this through the bush. Let's get it done. A far steam in since we saw each other last. Time check. It's one, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. It's one. I don't know if you see it. One fifty-six in the afternoon. Um, we've been walking for quite a while. It is bloody hot out here. Nothing has changed. The, the country has stayed the same the whole entire time. The flies have picked up like you wouldn't believe. The flies are super friendly. They're driving me crazy, but there's nothing you can really do about it out here. Um, the only thing that has changed is this bag right here. I'm 100% confident that this, this this challenge slash bloody whatever this word this experiment that we're doing, it's gonna work for sure. Have a look at this. I haven't even like really stopped to probably stop and look at it. I've been walking flat out, but um, we're looking good. Like it's looking incredibly bloody. The moisture that's in this bag is absolutely. It's just off its head. I reckon if I was to hold it, obviously this little, this little capsule thing, look at this. I don't know if you can see that there, but that's complete drinking water. And um, look at this. There's a heap of it too, actually. It's all stuck on that little wire, wire there. But it's slowly draining in. And that, that little bit of liquid you can see in the bottom, it might look like cat piss at the moment. But that there is 100% drinkable water. And um, we've only been out here for a couple of hours. Still got the whole entire afternoon and all day tomorrow to walk. So that's, that's bloody beautiful. Look at this. It is crazy how much water is actually starting to group up in here. You can see big water drops down there. Look how much water is in here. We've got this little bit of cat piss in the bottom of that catchment bag we made there. That's a good mouthful and a half of water there. but. I reckon there'd be at least a cup of water just in the bag itself right now. If, you, if I was to hang it up on a tree, give it a good bang and really let that water drip off those leaves, I reckon we'd fill up that whole entire little reservoir there, full of water. And the time is only 2.02, so we've got a fair, fair whack to walk yet. And um, we're looking good. We're looking real good. It is super moist. Oh yeah, it's good. All right, what we'll do is just keep walking in that direction. That direction is east. That sun's slowly going over in the west. We're just gonna keep, keep punching that way. I'm um, pretty bloody tempted right now to punch a little hole in the bottom of that bag and grab a mouthful of water out, but at the same time, I wanna see what we really get over the course of the whole entire day. I'm just having this thing on my back. I was a little bit skeptical because Obviously having it on your back like this, 50% of the bag is on my back, which obviously you're losing 50% of sun hitting the plastic, but it is working. It's working quite well. You guys have see, seen how much water is in the bottom there. So we'll just keep punching on and um, walking through this beautiful country. Have a look at this. 
I reckon it's absolutely bloody beautiful. Look at this, mate. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, this bag is actually quite heavy. If I was to put any more leaves inside this bag, it would have weighed an absolute ton, but we're doing all right. Let's keep trudging on. Wow. All right, the afternoon is very much getting on right now. We're not too far away from having a sunset. We've done some serious Ks today. What I've done is I've hung, I've hung that bag up in a tree with that rope we had, and um, I've just made that little vessel or that little water catchment point on that bag center at the point of center so all of that water can actually drip into it. And um, we've got more, easily we've got more than a cup of water already. It'd be a cup and a half. There's probably about a cup of condensation still in that bag, just sitting on the leaves, on the walls. There's a whole heap of liquids there. I'll give you a look. It's pretty bloody interesting. So we've been walking through the bush for around about six hours-ish. I didn't actually know what time we started, but it's, we've been walking about six hours. You can have a look. This has still got a whole lot of condensation and water up on the top there. But down here... <coughs> <coughs> There goes another fly. <coughs> oh, that's about the hundredth fly I've eaten today. Ah, <coughs> oh, oh, it's good for you. <coughs> what I was saying is our little cat piece pocket here. That thing is really full, filling up with water now. It's over. That's over a cup of water. It's quite a large little pocket there. There's a heap of water there and that hasn't even been for 24 hours on this sack. So you still look at the water in here. There's still a lot of water sitting up on the edges of that bag. And um, we are looking good. The experiment so far, see that big drip of water just then? Look at it, it's just dripping in, look. So far, so good. The experiment is definitely going to plan. Uh, oh. <coughs> This is ridiculous. Alright. Excuse me for um doing what I just did just then. But this is just, I'm just gonna show you the real life of Outback Australia right now. I've had absolutely no water to drink since the sun rose this morning, since we started doing this walk. And um the problem is that there are millions of flies around here right now. What happens is you swallow a fly and because my mouth isn't lubricated, we've had no water whatsoever. <clears throat> they get stuck to the side of your throat and it is just like, I don't know, I just can't help. It was probably looked like a little bit of a girl emotion just then spewing up because I ate a fly, but it's been happening all day. They get so stuck to your side of your throat. There's no moisture in my mouth. Can't spit them out. And they, I don't know what they do. They just get stuck there and it's just horrible, man. <sighs> it's about the 15th time it's happened. Anyway. That was a little bit of a girly moment, but we're back on. The fly's gone and um, we're ready to rock and roll. Sorry if that was disgusting, but <clears throat> it's just the way it is out here in the bush. Bloody flies. That was an extremely dramatic little spewing session. I apologize. And that's probably not the best way to stay hydrated. I actually did spew something up just then. And um, it's not good if you haven't had any water all day, but we've got water there. We're very safe. It's good to know we've got at least two cupfuls of water in that bag. <clears throat> Let's climb up this tree. We'll see where the hell we are, how far we've got to walk. <sighs> Let's 
Let's see where the bloody hell we are. Let's see where we've walked to today. Oi! Get your monkey on. All right, get here. All right, we're halfway up a tree. Trying to find out where the hell we are. Wait a minute, that ain't good. That ain't good, that's super slippery. All right, we've made it to the top of a tree. Oh, look at this. This is sick. It's probably one of the biggest trees in the area that I could find, but um, I can just see that. So what I can see here, get out of the way. I can just see the landmark. Man, we're close. We've nearly walked the whole way today. <laughs> um, we're pretty close to where we need to be. What's that, another two hours, uh, hour and a half walk? We've punched it. I'll show you guys where we are, where we started. So if you guys can see that ridge over there, that's, we started way on the backside of that ridge this morning. And um, we've just walked this whole way. And if, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a, there's a phone tower way down there in the distance. That's where the car's parked. That's where we need to get to. That's still a little bit of a steam. Maybe it's a two, two an hour and a half, two hour walk. But this is how we're looking up here in this little tree. Things are looking good. There's our campsite down there. That's where we pull up for the Arvo. Lovely. All right, let's go and start a fire and um, sit back for the Arvo. I'm just gonna lob it. Ah, oh, mother Oh no, that's not good. Oh, you're kidding me. No, no, no. Oh. oh no. That's really not good. Oh fuck. Oh. This is not good. I've just absolutely destroyed my ankle. No, no, no. Oh, it's absolutely killing me right now. Oh. oh fuck. This is not good, man. Oh. Yeah, I was that stuffed. Oh, bugger. I've had issues with this ankle before years and years ago. Now that's really, really not cool, man. Oh, I can't even put weight on it. Oh, far out. What am I going to do now? Oh. oh, that little thing right there just completely ruined my day. I just landed on that tiny little rock with my foot, and now this ankle is absolutely cooked. Oh man, that's not good. That's really, really, really not good. Oh. This is actually not even a joke right now, but my ankle, that's not, it's not good. It is abs, there's a shooting pain. I can't even move my foot. This is bad. No phone reception. I just ate another fire. This isn't good. This really isn't good. Oh. oh man, that's not good. I've actually broken this ankle before surfing a couple of years ago. And it's exactly that same spot. This is so shit. 
All right, it's about a two hour walk on a good foot to get to the car. Hopping to the car like this is gonna take me hours. We're gonna have to just start thinking of ways to get back to the car, we're not camping here. I'm gonna have to make myself some crutches. Oh, oh. This is bad. All right, I'm gonna have to make a set of crutches out of sticks and we're getting out of here. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, fuck. Well, I just realized that that windsock was covering the whole entire camera angle just then, so I don't even know if you guys can see that bit of footage, but right now filming is, this is the last thing on my mind. My ankle is absolutely killing me. Look at it already. It's a, like I'm shaking, man. We had a good run. We had a real good run. We are out here nearly every day doing this shit for the last two years, and um, not once have we hurt ourselves like this. Time was gonna come, wasn't it? There we go. All right, here we go. Oh, that's good. That works as a perfect crutch. Okay. We've got one crutch made. This actually works really well. Very simple setup. Um, I'm just gonna go wake, make one more. I'm gonna drink the water in that bag and we're gonna start punching on Anvia. All right, we've just finished off our second crutch. So there's the second one. Basically exactly the same as this one here. Oh, for God's sake. It's not easy to go pick stuff up. All right, what we're gonna do is um, get the water out of this bag and I'm gonna high tail on out of here. That's about an hour and a half, for, say two hours of light, including twilight time. Let's get the water out of this bag and I reckon I'll make it back to the car just on sunset. Uh -uh. Oh, let's get this water out of this bag and get out of here. Look, it's because we're going back to the car. I'm just going to take what we can right now. Basically, all we got to do is punch a little baby hole in the bottom of the bag here. And um, I've got me a coffee cup with me. Here she goes. Look at this. That is fresh drinking water. Coming straight out of there into our cup. That's it. You just punch that high, a little bit higher. See that sediment on the bottom? You don't want to put, be putting that stuff into your drink. So I've just put that hole a little bit higher. So we're just getting really clean water from that gum tree. Look at this. There's easily two cups in here. I can still get water out of the bag. Oh. 
Oh, just like that, it's empty. So basically that little container that we made there has filled up one whole entire cup of water that is 100% drinkable water. Look at this. Mm. It's actually quite nice. It almost tastes like some form of a tea. That eucalyptus gives it that little bit of flavor. Oh, I tell you what, after the first thing we've drank all day, that's absolutely incredible. That's real good. Mm. It's actually very, very clean water. It's beautiful. One full cup of water. There's probably another one in there if I bang the bag and shake the leaves around, but I'm hightailing it on out of here. Look at my ankle, it is so swollen. Check this out. I'm actually gonna leave my shoe on because I don't reckon I'll get my shoe back on. If you guys can see that, look how fat that ankle is right now. Oh, what have I done? Anyway, we got water. So this is the challenge. The challenge was to see if you can walk through the bush with a bag full of leaves. And um, it's definitely doable, 100%. That is 100% drinking water right here in this cup. Probably get more out of it. And that was from around eight o'clock this morning. It is now 5.30 in the afternoon. So that thing has been doing its thing. It's called a transpiration bag. So it's been doing its thing for since eight o'clock to 5.30 now. And um, look, mate, it is 100%. That thing's got us a whole glass of water. There's probably more in the bag. So I reckon that's mission complete to, ex to an extent. Now I've got a busted ankle. We're gonna have to steam back to the car, hopefully before it gets too dark. So I'm gonna rip the leaves out of that bag, take that bag out of here with me, throw the leaves on the ground. We're gonna get out of here as soon as I finish this glass of water. Oh, it's actually not bad at all. All right. I didn't really think about this too hard, but it's extremely hard to use crutches and film with a camera, but we're on our way. I got the plastic bag on my back there, completely packed up that whole little bit. We were actually going to camp there tonight, but we're no longer camping. We're literally racing that sun. That sun is so close to setting. We've got to steam out of here. Um, these crutches are working an absolute treat though. They do work really, really well. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to crutch as fast as I can walk, but we've got to do what we can do. Okay, even though that I've potentially got a broken ankle and um, I'm racing the sun right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the camera here. I'm going to bugger off. I'm going to do one of those old filming tricks. And then I'm going to crutch all the way back and get the camera just to show you guys exactly how we are walking out of here because this is legit. This is no joke. I reckon I've got a broken ankle. I've had me a little cry off camera. I've sucked it up and um, we've just got to be positive and get back to the car. So let's go. I'll be back to get the camera in a minute. I don't know what's worse right now. Having a busted ankle? or these bloody flies, man. I'm about to lose it. These flies are so thick. That you, and because you're using crutches, you've got to hold on like this. Don't, both hands are holding onto the crutches. You're pushing yourself through the bush. You've got no means of blowing the flies away. They're in your mouth, in your nose, in your ears. They're just everywhere. Anyway, it's part of life out here. We're doing all right. That sun's completely gone down. It is... 15, 20 minutes, she's gonna be dark. So we're gonna be moving through the dark, which I'm not too fussed about. What's happened is I've had a blown out crutch. That happened pretty early on in the piece. So I had to bloody weld that thing up with a little bit of rope. And um, for those people that are wondering how the hell am I getting my direction, I'm actually doing this. <sighs> I'm just using my watch here. And um, that thing's giving me direction of east, which is basically smack on, smack on here. So. What we're doing is we're just walking that way. East is that way. So I'm just following me watch, following the compass. 
that should take us back to that tower where the car's parked. But until then, it's just you, me, and a couple of flies. Anyway, we'll keep pushing on and um, we'll get this thing fixed. Well, there it is. There is the last of the sunlight. And um, I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but that sound in the background is cars. So we are so close to where we're trying to get to. Listen. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's the sound of cars on the highway. So we're very, very close. I found this track. You broke, I don't know if you guys can see this at night. It's pretty dark, but I found this beautiful track here. I've been following this for the last hour. And um, there's some extremely fresh tracks on this, full drive tracks on this track. So we are very close. Next time I check in with you guys, it's going to be pitch black. That sun's gone. Um, we're getting there. We're getting it done. Very, very slowly. One step at a time. We're getting it done. What an interesting couple of hours. Have a look at these things. Those crutches that we made in the bush are so much, so much better than these bloody poxy things. I'll give you the hot tip. All right, I've had a very, very interesting couple of hours. Have a look at this. What is that thing, man? I'll be setting trends for quite a while. Jesus. All right, we have pretty much completely cooked our ankle. Um, before we go into what's happened on my ankle, let's talk about that survival challenge. What a bloody day in the bush. It was swallow and floor. I was just editing that video just before and um, I'm just sitting in there laughing. I'm literally swallowing flies, <laughs> spewing. That's just, that's just how it is out there in the bush. It truly is. And I already missed not being in the bush. I've been in, I've been, we're now in a city, man. We are never in cities. I don't like cities at all. And um, we've had to rent a house. I've got to have a place to recover. We are down and out for quite a while with this foot, but just editing that video and um, that is so funny, man. I'm swallowing flies. Unfortunately, we didn't get to finish the whole entire the whole entire challenge. What I wanted to do was start a fire, try to hunt some kind of food and um, sleep on the ground, do what we do, do what we love doing. And um, obviously we weren't able to finish, but look, that was a super success. That plastic bag worked better than I actually expected. So you can grab a plastic bag, fill it up with leaves, and you can literally make drinking water whilst you walk through the bush. So I've never seen it done before. That's something that I've always wanted to do. And um, well, we finally did it and it worked. We got one cup of beautiful water. Probably would have got two out of that bag if I really tried. But um, obviously I had a burning ankle and we had to hop our way out of that beautiful bushland that we're in. So um, let's talk about exactly what I've done to my ankle. Basically, you guys saw what happened. I jumped out of that tree. That tree was only like three foot, man. It was tiny where I jumped from, but I've just landed on the worst spot of my foot. So I've already got a bung foot, if you guys didn't know that. If you know me personally, seven years ago, I busted my foot surfing and um, it's just never been the same. It never will be the same, it's, it's cooked. What I need to do is I need to get a big bolt put through the back of my foot and um, join two bones together. This particular job, but it, it's kind of similar to this. And so what I go and do is put a uh, plate and screws like that. Hmm. Yeah, if you want to take a photo. And that, that, that big bad boy gets screwed all the way into your but ankle. It, but, it, but it's in, not into your ankle. No, joint, into the no, bone, yeah. In, into the bone, sort of like that. Wow. Righto. Eh? Which is sort of what this is showing. But to do that surgery, that is a massive, massive surgery. And um, the doctor said, mate, you're too young, you're too, you're too bloody, you're too young and you're too good looking to get that done. So I'm not getting that done yet. One doctor said do it. I went and got a second opinion. The other one's like, do not do that bloody surgery unless you have to. So what I did out in the bush just then, I've just come up and I've smashed the top of the bone and little bits of bone have like smashed up in my foot. So what I've got here is an x-ray. Here we go, Dr. Field Day is coming out to play. Got a bit of an x-ray here to show you is that, I don't even know if you can see it in the light, but all those floating bones there, that's just little bits of broken bone floating around in my foot. So when we jumped out of that tree, it obviously just impacted. And um, basically all they've done is they've sliced my foot open, they've sucked out the broken bone, they've grinded it all nice and neat and beautiful, and they've sewn me back up. So it is probably the worst bone to break, but at the same time, 
It's not just an easy brake like this, it's a complicated brake, so I'm not going to get it fixed with the bolt right now. I'm going to see how this goes. We're down and out of action for quite a while, so um, look, while we're down and out of action, we've got some bloody good news on top of this shithouse news. This good news here, check this out. Yeah, doggies. The fishing jigs, or the FDYS jigs, are finally available on the online shop. Have a look at this. It's been a long time coming, but I wanted to get them bloody perfect. So this is how you get the jigs in the mail. They both come with double assist hooks, high quality made bloody assist hooks, and um, these things are gonna fly out of the door like hotcakes. So they are available on the online shop right now, fieldayshop.com. Also, we have a brand new hats. We've got a heap of brand new shirts, adult shirts and kids shirts. So make sure you guys jump over to fieldayshop.com and um, get your hands on some of these beautiful jigs. We got the dumb dogs, dumb dogs. What's this? We got a booze hag here. And um, we've got a couple of these epic little tiny dancers. So this is all on the online shop, as well as brand new hats, brand new tees, and brand new kids merch. So um, doggies, I'm going to be down and out a while with this foot, but um, I've got a couple of videos up my sleeve. Hopefully we don't miss a Sunday upload. I promise myself I'll never miss one of these Sunday uploads. So hopefully we don't. I've got a couple of videos up my sleeve, and um, I'll see you guys out there when we're fighting and fit. Make sure if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, bang that button there. If you guys want to grab these sexy fire jigs make sure you bang that button there it'll take you to the online shop and um see you guys in the next video when we're out there fit and healthy all right doggies much love thank you for the support yo <coughs> oh, fuck. oh how many times does this have to happen in a day oh i tell you what